A leaked document from Facebook from a few months ago. I was kind of sitting on it, seeing if anyone would talk about it. I didn't really see anyone do it. If they did, I apologize, but not really. Uh, Project Veritas did. Here's a video of what I'm talking about. Here's James O'Keefe in action. Danny Ben David, I'm James O'Keefe with Project Veritas. This is this is code that you wrote for Facebook, sir. This is a uh, code that you wrote for Facebook. And it's, it has the words Action Deboost Live Distribution. Why does it show up on all of these conservative people's pages? James O'Keefe. I'd like to ask That's you a question name. about something you put together at Facebook about these so-called troll reports. Now, our insider says that you actually took action on this and you had a troll score listed on the fake account index at Facebook on the content review tool. You actually created this report, did you not? I don't actually have any comment on any of this. How do you know where I live and where I commute from? What I'd like to know is, did you in fact create this report, Tactic 2, Notifying I Friends? But the most Are egregious... You stalking me? What's that? Have What's you been stalking me? I'd like to... How do you know where I commute from? Are there police around here? Was there a troll score instituted under the fake account index on the CRT at Facebook? I don't have any comment on, on anything that you're talking about. I'm, I'm a little worried for my safety, given the way that you're stalking me. This is investigative. If you left, this I I, I'm, I'm this is a public area, sir, and this is a very important story. Okay. Don't you just love how he just ignores the guy's question? Um, excuse me. How do you know where I live and how I commute to work? And he just takes the microphone away. So that's the guy who created the document, not the person who leaked it, but he's the one who created it. And I just wanted to show you, these are the type of things that they're creating, having their engineers fish around with. Uh, and in that video, I believe James O'Keefe says that it was put into action. And with all the evidence of suppression across social media, it doesn't seem far-fetched at all that this is what they're actually doing. In fact, a lot of the evidence that's come out is in line with the fact that they do things like use keywords or target people based on their content to suppress them or remove them from suggested take away things you they don't want you to see so this guy's slide it's a slideshow i guess interfere with troll operations if someone is a troll limit their bandwidth for a few hours give them some auto logouts direct them to the home page randomly magically their fi magical failure of uploads and logging them out now you might be thinking that this is just for trolls it's just for you know people who are doing massive fraudulent things uh, trying to game the system, you know, all that sort of stuff. But what it says there, look at it, it says um, when to trigger it. User uploads a comment or post with a match on our bank of known troll munitions. So munitions, things that they use. Um, so what does that mean? A bank of our own troll mun munitions. So the leak does show what their word bank is. So here's their list of terms that if you, if you say them on Facebook, this is a signal to them to do all the things that I just mentioned, like Limit your bandwidth, auto logout, direct you to home, stuff doesn't post. Here are some of the words, Kekistan, you know, the, the fake country. A shit posting, posting offensive material on social media, SJW, mainstream media, lulls, just described as a feeling of glee, we can't have that at Facebook. Normie, red pilled, keck, trash dove, <laughs> a purple dove that's some satirist joke that they could make into a hate symbol by morphing it. So like everything else. So if you mention something that's a joke, you know, you're a troll. IRL, saying in real life is a signal to mess with you. Re, obviously, somebody screaming. Chatelet. Uh, shoe on head. I haven't heard of that one. Reference to getting an online entertainer. Used to be a sex entertainer to do what the viewer requests. Okay. And the Overton window. Now that's a good one. The boundary of acceptable dis discourse. So if somebody mentions that Somebody's shifting the Overton window. This is a signal to Facebook that they're a troll. So a lot of freedom going on going on over there at Facebook. And it's I, for me, it takes, takes a, a sick kind of individual, somebody who doesn't really like people, to want to control you this, mu this much, suppress your speech, mess with you. Like, suppressing people and taking them off of visibility is one thing. But to purposely... You know, mess with them, auto logouts, direct them to the home page, failure of uploads, like really just frustrate them into into doing what you want. It's pretty gross. All because of you disagree with their worldview. All because they disagree with you. And this is kind of what uh, some other companies that allow you to upload videos are doing. 
it's kind of like they give you the same answers when you ask them questions and they go around the circle where they copy and paste and send you things, they send you links. So their tactic is to just, you know, discourage you into giving up. And this is just because they want to win the culture war and they just disagree with you. So the best way is to just, you know, try to ruin your life, try to make you upset, try to make you insane. So I wanted to share this with you just because I want you to know what's out there. I want you to know the type of things that's going on in social media. And just be careful out there because it's sad to say, but people are actually, actually actively trying to stop others from saying and having opinions for what they want on social media.